Sitting next to me is my son, Dr. Noah Shankman. He is a urologist at the University of Virginia. We have always encouraged Noah, since he's a little boy, to become a physician. Uh, the joke in the family is we put a tape under his pillow that said, I want to be a doctor. I want to be a doctor. As my mother said, I'm Dr. Noah Shankman, and I'm here at the University of Virginia, where I have a dream job. I get to teach academic medicine to undergraduate and graduate medical trainees, and I also get to practice medicine in a high-tech, state-of-the-art environment. It wasn't always this easy. I grew up in New Jersey and to a middle-class family in a suburb, and uh, we didn't have enough money to pay for college. So, like many other people my age, I chose to go into the Army to pay for college. I was in the military for 21 years. I saw service overseas as well as at Walter Reed Army Medical Center. There I was very grateful to be able to take care of our nation's wounded. That phase of my life ended and my career picked up again here at UVA. I'm very grateful at the University of Virginia that I have the opportunity to work with the Da Vinci Surgical Robot and I do most of my procedures uh, using the robot. Uh, the Da Vinci surgery is uh, very cool, even after 10 years working with it, it's still amazing to me. Uh, the precise and technical procedures we can perform uh, using the robot that uh, before the robot uh, would have taken very large incisions and uh, prolonged hospital stays. What are the advantages of Da Vinci surgery? Well, for the patient, it means uh, much smaller incisions, less pain, and shorter hospital stays with a quicker return uh, to their regular jobs. Uh, the scientific advantages of the Da Vinci, including using uh, three-dimensional vision, which gives us uh, much more accuracy and precision in our surgery, the wristed instruments that the Da Vinci uh, robot uses are uh, very precise and allow us to do much more accurate surgery than was previously uh, performed using just conventional laparoscopy. Uh, overall, I think that the future of surgery is going to be more and more robotics and the robot will become uh, more and more part of uh, every operating room.